Alright guys, and we are back with more Phoenix Wright, Rise from the Ashes, still a part of the Ace Attorney game, but it's uh, an additional case that they added to the DS port, or to the DS port of the GBA version of the game, so they added one more case, and this is the case, is what I was told, but anyway, we are back, February 22nd, Prosecutor's Office, Underground Parking Lot, let's check for clues, let's do it, so this is the lot where it all happened. Looks like they're still investigating. Funny that my first visit to the prosecutor's office should be like this. Hey everyone, keep up the good work! Hey, what are you doing? Well, they are going to be my co-workers three years from now, after all. No harm in saying hello. Actually, there is, you know. Attorneys aren't supposed to examine crime scenes. I'm trying not to stand out too much here, see? Hey there! You expecting to go unnoticed here, partner? Partner? Who the hell? Whoa! What do you have here? Looks like a bambina got loose from the wrench and is up to no good. Folks gotta learn to keep them doggish tied down, partner. yippee ki -yay. Mr. Marshall? His name is Mr. Marshall, and he's dressed like a marshal. Oh my god. And look at this! He has a death! Looks like more of a sheriff to me, but look at this, he's cutting his damn beard with a damn, what is, what kind of knife is that? Look here, Bambina, I know how you feel, but this is my game, Gold Strike, see? Strike? Gold? This is our claim, our territory, and the gold mine is evidence. If you're fixing to mess with it, what's ours, you'll regret it, partner. You know what dreams the cacti out in the desert dream? You want to? What's this guy even talking about? Blah, blah. Well, head along home now. Half the trails, Bambina. Who the hell is this guy? <laughs> Was that uh, an ombre of yours? <laughs> uh, kind of, sort of. Uh, he's a detective. Who thinks he's a sheriff from the wild... Re <laughs> Who thinks he's a sheriff from the wild west, it seems. Oh my goodness. Dun, 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 dun. Alright. Can we look at the court record right now? Can we look at profiles? Oh, Miles Edgeworth is still here. A gifted prosecutor and a ruthless man who do anything to get a guilt, uh, guilty verdict. You would think that profile would have changed after the last case. Maybe he still does it. Detective at the local precinct in charge of the initial investigation. High school junior and self-styled scientific investigator. She said she'd be 16 this year. She said she'd be 16 this year. So, wouldn't she be 15? That means her birthday hasn't even came yet. High school junior and self-styled scientific investigator. Client sister of Lana Scott. She's 29 years old. The defendant and chief prosecutor for the district. Wounded on her right hand. I hit that. Look at that. Baby. Boom, boom, boom. All right, let's get to examining. Can we examine this? Look, a stylish glass-walled room. Very nice. You can see the whole parking lot from in there. It says security. Perhaps it's a cafe. Huh? <laughs> cafe security. Yeah, that must be it. Let's check it out later. Uh, I think it's the control. Uh, you know what? I hate to bring it to you, but I think that's probably just a security guard office. <gasps> You know, I scored a 97 on my science test the other day. Too bad they don't have a test for common sense. <laughs> Damn! Phoenix is still a dick. Well, he doesn't say it to people, but you know, he thinks it. This is where the cars leave the lot. The arrow on the ground makes it look more like an entrance. What are you talking about? It's plainly an exit. Well, maybe it's both kind of a dual purpose. Ha! <laughs> the theory of relativity. Relativity. Relativity, right? That, I said that, right? The theory of relativity. Relativity. What, uh... I forgot to write this one down. Hey, Mr. Wright! Maybe you know, um... Was Mr. Relatively German or was he British? Oh my goodness, Mr. Re Relatively. Are you sure that was his name? Oh my goodness. She's a... She's just like Maya. She doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> Look at door. This must mean something. I'm not sure that doors mean anything. 
No, it won't open. The mysterious lock. I fail to see what's mysterious about it. Mr. Wright, you need to learn to enjoy life more. Let's finish our investigation first, shall we? <laughs> Yo, she's acting just like Maya. There's a ladder here. Ah, ladder. That's a step ladder. What's the difference? In scientific terms, please. Scientific, huh? Look at the basic nature of things, Mr. Wright. This all seems so horribly familiar somehow. <laughs> like I said, man. This is Maya all over. Here, phone, let's see if it works. Hey, don't touch stuff we don't need to be touching. I can't hear anything. My ears, no. Maybe it's due to the barometric pressure. Oh my goodness, what is she babbling about? I'm with you, Phoenix. Hey, what did you just say? See, you can hear just fine. The phone's broken. <laughs> this wall is in our way. It's got a faucet for water. Wait, I know. This wall is merely a facade hiding the truth. This is no wall but a water tank. I failed to see how it makes any difference e e either way. Let's see. Oil drum. Looks like it's filled with water. It's heavy. I can't even budge it. The drum over here is on his side. Wait, I know. I'll hide it here and do a stakeout. I think you'll probably just get arrested. In fact, you may not even have to hide in the drum to get arrested. <laughs> what? I'm not suspicious. All right, let's go check out the other side. Oh, wait, wait. I don't, I don't go to move, right? I just hit the bottom screen. Bip, bip. Bip, bip. Whoa, look at this nice car. I wonder whose car that is. They, they gotta be a baller. They a baller. Well, no time to waste. Let's get hunting for clues. I wonder what this is. Well, partner, looks like you got no intention of going home quietly. Oh, no! The sheriff! Like I said before, this here's our claim. I, you best be moseying along, unless you fixing to bite the bullet. Ah! Could you just tell us one thing? Who owns this car? Well, the little filly's got a good nose on her. You wanna know who rides that red Mustang with the body in their saddle, eh? Please! No problem, partner. About time for vittles anyway. Get yourself to the saloon up to the 12th floor of the prospector's office. What? Might just find you a little cerveza. Just, what? I don't even know what this man's even saying. Prospector's office? What does this guy think he is? And when for that matter? Note to self. Look up Vittles Saloon Cervasa. Oh, I don't know how to say any of these words. Maybe we should check out room 1202, the high prospector's office. In any case, stay away from the car. You can look around here all you like. Just keep your paws off our claim. Why isn't he arresting us? Right, great. Maybe there are some clues around here, Mr. Wright. Let's check it out. Oh, we can't even go to the right, dude. Oh. Uh, did we get anything? Did we get any... No, we did not get anything from that. Oh, what's that? There's something on the ground right here. I think that's something, right? What's this? A wallet? Oh, we found the wallet. Whoa, 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 wait. What are you doing, Mr. Wright? What am I doing? I just found this wallet, so I'm handing it over to the police. I don't believe it. This is real basic. Anything at a crime scene is evidence. Let's be scientific about this, please. Just put it in your pocket. How is that scientific? Sounds like theft to me. Wallet. I'm called to duty already and at my tender age. Here, I'll teach you the trick to examining evidence in detail, okay? By the way, her eyes are sparkling. I can tell she's been waiting for this. Okay, okay now. Look at the court record. Alright. She's doing this automatically for me. You have to be sure to examine evidence carefully on all sides. Now let's start examining from every angle. Or how do I do that, girl? Oh, 
do 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 Detective Bruce Goodman, ID number 5842189. See? Isn't scientific investigation useful? This is just basic. Though I don't see what science has to do with it. Exactly, Phoenix. It's just basic investigative skills. Goodman's ID added to the court record. Let's be sure to examine every piece of evidence we find. I guess I've got to be on my toes from now on. Excuse me? Were well, you two all set? Us? Whoa! What's this? She couldn't be. You're selling lunches here? This is a crime scene. Hello, half and half, was it? Huh? Uh, thanks. And you, sir? Yes? Some crunchy goodness coming at you. Uh, thanks. Interesting way of doing business. This area is off limits to anyone without clearance. Especially passer buyers. Or are you officers? Passers by. I said passer buyers. <laughs> no, but you don't look exactly like the type to have clearance. Well, that's hardly a way to greet someone. Even if my days are the cough up queen are. Oh, what? Cough up, queen. What did you coughing up? Even if my days as the cough up queen are over. Cough up, huh? You know, I'm feeling kind of full. Maybe I'll pass on lunch. I'm quite connected to this case, you see. The images are burned into my eyes, you might say. Yes, all the sword did secrets. Secrets? Dear me, you are a slow one, aren't you? Damn. Hair flip. E oh! Hair flipping to the damn stare of destiny. I'm referring to the murder. The stabbing of that detective. You seen that? She did the slow hair flip into the stare. What? A witness clearly saw me committing the crime. You mean you're the witness? My sister was talking about? Please, cough up queen. Tell us what happened. The name's Angel Star. Don't you forget it. Or before you know it, I'll... Have you whimpering at my heels? What? She she means it. They got some quirky ass characters, yo. They got some very quirky characters in this game. The case. Somehow I knew. Yesterday was a day of destiny. I knew something was going to happen. Just like I know that the daily special on Friday every week is Salmon. Destiny was yesterday special for some reason. You're a defense attorney, right? You should know then. You should know the foul misdeeds of the evil ones who haunt this den of inequity. Evil ones? Prosecutors, they have no qualms at all about blackening the name of innocence. And yesterday, they paid homage to the most evil one of all. They gave an award for the king of prosecutors. What a farce. So she's saying there was some sort of prosecutor's convention yesterday. Really? I was almost compelled to lace their lunches with something foul. Whoa. Do you have a personal grievance against prosecutors or something? Or is there some kind of scientific evidence of this evil? Young miss, mock me at your own risk. You'll soon find out why they call me the cough up queen. Whoa! <laughs> the most heinous of all the evil ones. The one they awarded yesterday. It was in his car that they found the body. Proof that he devours the evilest lunches of all. Really? Really? What? I'm totally confused. One thing is clear. This lunch lady has a thing against prosecutors. What you witness? So what exactly was that you witnessed, Miss Star? It was a fascinating spectacle, to be sure. I know... I, excuse me. I now feel I know what they say when they talk about a woman's wrath. To see Lana Sky wield that knife so. Her knife flashed in anger, bringing him to a sad end. It was truly a sight to see. You mean you saw the very moment of the crime? The sound of this silvery ties to this world be 
what is that? Being cruelly cut still rings in my ears. Oh my goodness, I know I said that all wrong. You ain't gotta tell me I said that wrong. And the rhythmic, the rhythmic beat of Lana Sky's knife. Wow! Wait a second, you know Lana Sky? Of course, it's quite a feat becoming chief prosecutor. How many lunchboxes of sin did she pack to make the journey, I wonder? She always travels light. Now why would this pretty lunch lady know the chief prosecutor's name? Let's ask about Angel. Hmm, can we ask you a bit about yourself, Miss Star? I come here every day to sell lunches. I import only the freshest and best from the Far East. For some reason, the box lunches are a hit here. Why not make the lunches here rather than import them? Did you say something? Uh, no, <laughs> only true connoisseurs can understand. The kind you can only tell someone who has tried General... General Sue... No, no, no. General So's Tribal... Trilobit Lunch Set. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, never mind, you win. I don't even want to appreciate part of a tri... Try little bits flavor. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I come here every day to sell lunches. My boyfriend works in the security room here at the pros prosecutor's office. Your boyfriend? See the security room over there? The glass walled booth? I sell my lunches and since I'm here anyway, I drop in to see him. Since you're here anyway, I guess selling lunches is more important than romance. So to scientifically analyze the data available so far, you, Miss Star, are a lunch vendor with an ulterior motive for coming here. Useful an analysis? Not. <laughs> Prosecutor's office. Did you have a bad experience with the prosecutor, Miss Star? I sense some hostility. Hostility? Ha! <laughs> Perhaps. Prosecutors are all alike. And the bigger they get, the worse they smell. Kinda like 10 day old clams in the chowder. I wonder if Miss Star was involved in some sort of legal trouble in the past. She has to. She had to have had trouble with legal troubles, you know? She had to have legal troubles, because you wouldn't just be hating prosecutors as much as you do now. With no reason. You had to have some reason. That would be a sure cause of food poisoning, scientifically speaking, of course. I mean, now you're talking cough up, queen. I thought she was just a lunch vendor, but now I'm not sure. I show her my badge. I'm a defense attorney, girl. A defense attorney must be able to fight. How about you? Do you think you can win? How about tackling Lunchland's Pickle Supreme Lunchbox? Wow, it's really crunchy! A box of pickles. Kind of a sad lunch if you ask me. <laughs> Good man's ID. An investigated ID is found at prosecutor's office crime scene. Hmm. Should we examine? Uh, I don't think we should show this, but I'm gonna show it anyway. About this card. Lunchland vendors only accept cash, no cards. Especially not a card belonging to someone else. No, 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 this isn't a credit card, it's an ID card. It belongs to a detective. And you're showing this to me, the lunch lady, why? That's like showing a fine honeyed hand to a detective. Why do I always feel like I'm being mocked? <laughs> Alright, whatever. Can we move? Yes, we can. We can go to the high prosecutor's office. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to save the game, take a short break, and we will go to the high prosecutor's office. I think that's what you call it, right? The high prosecutor's office? Yep, the high prosecutor's office next time on Phoenix Wright. Rise from the ashes. So I'll see you guys next time.